Well, boys, I think we had a bad day. We stuck a little bit. Story time. On Christmas Eve this year, I actually flipped the Defender off of this cliff all the way down in there into the creek. So first things first, let's step it back to about two hours before this actually happened. In Kentucky, we had had like the coldest weather we'd ever had in December. It was negative four degrees and there was ice and snow everywhere. Like literally it was 60 degrees, it rained everywhere, then it flash froze in like two hours, dropping like 40 degrees or something all the way down to negatives. And uh, you know, Kentucky, He's here on a map, so we're not exactly super north. And negative temperatures for us is, you know, pretty crazy. We don't exactly get that too often. So here's what I was doing. It was Christmas Eve. I really didn't have nothing going on in the middle of the day. So I took my big bad defender around here, bad boy. You know, we're going to go ride around, look at the snow. Maybe do a few donuts here and there. You know what I mean? And then I came to this stretch right here and this curve right here. So you know me. I'd been testing the ice a little bit, okay? Literally playing with fire or technically playing with ice but you get the point every now and again i'd tap the brakes and see if i'd slide a little bit just to see how icy it was and uh no no problems okay i'd slide a little bit then i just you know keep on going this time i decided to test the ice on a curve terrible idea not to mention there's a cliff right here well i was coming down this stretch i wasn't going too fast i was going maybe like 25 miles an hour which isn't really that fast but i got to about right here and i was like hmm wonder if i should hit the brakes and you know see if i'll slide a little bit well i hit the brakes and by golly this was straight ice like this was the iciest part i had found and you can look on the ground it's already still kind of wet i don't know i guess it just likes to be wet but i slid from way back there non-stop slid to right here where you can even still see my tire prints i stopped and then i creeped straight over and i just tumbled 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 all the way down there and we're gonna pull out the drone and we're actually gonna see how big of a cliff this actually is at first whenever i slide nice concerned that i might take out a fence post which after further review i definitely took out a fence post then after a few more seconds i realized i was gonna take out a whole lot more than a fence post i was going overboard i'll try to put this back for him yeah that'll have to do for now Okay, maybe not. I know it's hard to tell how big that actually is on camera. Okay, but I came slid. I literally stopped, but I just didn't stop enough. And then from there, I literally just tumbled, tumbled, and boom, flatlined right down there on the bottom. And we'll actually go check it out. It's actually a big creek. Luckily, it was froze over, so it was hard water. It was ice. It wasn't a big puddle like it is now. But yeah, I came from all the way up there, tumbled, 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 and then slammed right here. And you can even look in there, and you can even see some of the broken branches that we came down and we smashed on the way down here and then right there is where the picture was where the defender was just KO'd and this is where I had to climb out you can look at the picture the side door had came off the hinges and I was sitting there sideways I just had to climb out right there in the little crack in the window it was crazy so before we go any further into the investigation let's answer a question you guys are probably asking Ken, are you okay believe it or not I was actually 100% intact unscathed at all like I didn't even have a single bruise on you know I was chilling right here I had my seatbelt on because I'm not completely crazy and you know I was just holding on to the steering wheel and as I realized oh I'm going over I just held the brake as if that was gonna make a difference and I just held on and I just tumbled and tumbled and tumbled until I stopped and then I was like I think I'm upside down and that's because I was but yeah I was completely unscathed at this point I was just wondering what do I do next because I'm pretty sure I just totaled the defender completely so I called dad and I was like hey we might have some bad news I said I totally destroyed the defender and i'm at the bottom of a cliff then we actually had a few neighbors stop by which is pretty awesome because they all stopped by and asked if I, they could help and then they called a few people that could help long story short we went in there we went down in the hole we flipped the defender from its side up on its own and then got the bed out of the way because the bed had snapped off completely then we took the door that was snapped off as well took it off that way we don't have any pieces just dangling everywhere but then we flipped it up we had our neighbors come out they hooked up to the front of this with a gator there's like kennel buddy i don't know you can try to start it and if it and if it'll go just you know press the gas a little bit so i was like all right bet. i don't know i mean it's, we just kind of tumbled it off a cliff we'll see if it start well starts right up no problem and we pulled together i just wow pull right up off that thing and literally drive the thing home like a straight up can am i gotta give it to him because i just flipped it over a cliff it sat like that for probably an hour then we flipped it back up on its side and i drove the thing home perfectly fine so without further ado let's hop on down into the crash side and let's see if I forgot anything because it was snowy. Oh. 
All right, sweet, sweet. There is still a little bit of garbage that I can come in here and pick up, like this IGA receipt for uh, vanilla pudding. And it appears there is still quite a bit of ammo down here in the mud. So I'll probably sit here for a few more minutes and pick up as much ammo as I can. And there's everything from 22 to nine millimeter, 308, 556. There's that. And there's still a ton more just scattered everywhere. Still just picking up ammo literally everywhere. There's a 308, good shot. And so now another question, what about the damages to the defender and uh we do have damages first thing you're gonna notice hey guess what the bed literally snapped off and the door did but we literally took the door and put it back on tightened the bolt and the door is fine which is crazy but i'll take it. this piece of plastic right here on the front is busted a little bit that's just cosmetics and that's really not even that bad oh let's head on back to the house and i'm actually going to show you guys the bed and what we're going to be doing to fix it all right boys so this right here is the bed of the defender you can see it is not attached but we have been working on it right here a little bit it's starting to rain so let me pull in the defender and we'll get in here and start working on it. hey steve all right so first thing you're going to notice um it broke Okay, but what exactly broke on it and what are we going to have to do to fix it? So luckily with these defenders, it's actually pretty simple from what I've seen. These are the bed hinges. As you can see, it kind of bolts into there. It bolts into the bed and then it has this little circle thing. That circle thing, it goes right over this tube right here. So there's two of them, one here, one here. And then there's these hinges right here and right there. That's literally the pieces that hold it on the fence. Now, this one did happen to be a hydraulic bed thing. So it has this shock right here, which was completely snapped off. And it goes from right here to, uh, I think right here, or actually I think it goes somewhere else, but uh, I don't know where it is right now. Yeah, maybe right down there actually. And then we've already fixed this part, but this right here, which is the latch, it was completely bent sideways. We took this, bent that back. This bar was bent in like this. We took that, bent that back out. As for up here, we do have this back plastic and uh, it busted pretty tough. And then this thing, I'm not even sure what it is, but it looks pretty important. It snapped off there. So what it's looking like we might have to do is replace this entire back panel, which is absolutely massive, plus 300 bucks. That's a lot, but more importantly, that's a lot of work because in order to change that back panel, all this stuff has to come off, replace the panel, then put it back on. So, I mean, I don't know. That's that's a lot of work, but we can do it. We can do it. It's what needs to be done. Shouldn't have wrecked it. How about that, KG? All right, Daryl. That's the last straw. You're going to have to move out of here. This ain't no chicken coop. Steve, stay guard. As for the door, we did put it on pretty easy, but this right here, which was just the lock, it obviously smacked a rock Mach 90, so that took a little bit of damage. It doesn't, it's not as smooth anymore, which is probably to be expected. This was bent, but guess what? I bent that sucker back with a hammer. Now it works pretty good. Up here, the uh, shocks that go on this are actually right here. They go like right there. Yeah, they broke off too. So uh, we either gonna have to replace it or just use the door without it, which ain't half bad in the first place. So literally the Defender right here, not in bad shape whatsoever. I mean, honestly, I mean, it, I've been driving it around like this for about a week now because waiting for parts to get in. For the bed, though, the bed, though, is in a lot worse shape. I think putting the bed back on and letting it lock and everything is going to be going to be a breeze. Besides that, though, this plastic right here is a little flimsy. Just cosmetic. You know what I mean. Then down here, this tail light's completely busted off. And then the tailgate's a little wonky. I know, yeah, it's, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I couldn't get it to move. I think first step, though, we're going to get it back on there, get it secured, and then we'll start worrying about the back of that lighter but yeah honestly somehow some way i don't actually think we took on a ton of damage so let me go grab the parts and let's get to fixing this thing all right so i accidentally uh didn't press record so i already opened the boxes but in this we got the shock in the little boxes uh we got the shock thing this is what's actually going to hold the bed up hydraulically whatever i really hardly ever use the hydraulic part of the bed but i don't know i mean it, it's good to have it's only like 20 bucks then we got these two hinges which are literally the parts that hold the bed onto the defender and i mean uh, i don't think here's what i said in the part that i didn't actually record i don't think we're actually going to uh, fix this today because I think we actually need to fix the back panel first. The back panel is this big piece of plastic and uh, it's shattered and uh, there's pieces broken off. So that honestly pretty well needs fixed. So I think we're going to fix that first. And instead of putting the bed back on it and then having to take the bed back off, I think we're just going to wait three more days until we can get that other part and then just do it all at once. And I mean, in the meantime, 
I can just ride it around like this, and uh, I just can't haul stuff. So May, to go squirrel hunting, she may just have to sit in the passenger seat because we're definitely still going squirrel hunting. All right, guys, basically we'll catch you in about a week whenever that new part gets in. This is, uh, this is gonna be a build, but that's what happens when you go ice skating off cliffs in Defenders. It's uh, a little bit of a process. All right, guys, so it turned out the big back panel was gonna be like $800 after shipping and everything. So instead of buying the new whole back panel, taking all the stuff on, replacing it, and putting all the stuff back on, we decided we're pretty much just gonna try to glue it back together. So me and my uncle, we took it down to a shop, and first thing we did was we had to sand it up pretty good and get everything lined out, washed off. That way we could, you know, be a pretty effective at gluing it. Next, after pushing on it here and there, making sure that it all lined back up, we got a little sander thing and started sanding it out. You know, you gotta do this because if you don't, it's the glue's not gonna have nothing to really stick to, so roughing it up here actually really gonna help that. Then my uncle had this other cool idea where we're gonna bend some wire, heat it up really hot, and then kind of push it into the plastic, melting it, pretty much welding it together with this piece of metal. It's so hot, I can't hold it. Me and our power uh, screwdriver. Uh, I had never seen anything like this before, but it was pretty dang effective. And honestly, it held it together pretty dang good. Because it pretty much just put like a metal reinforcement in the crack, making it no longer a crack. We did that a couple more times, and then it was time to go ahead and get the glue. So we headed on down to our local random store that sells glue and uh, bought the random glue that the store sells. You know what I mean? Something light, nothing heavy. Once we got back and mixed it, we just went ahead and applied it, and, you know, we squished it on there in the crack and all that. It looks pretty good, and honestly, unless you're looking really really close at it, which you're probably not because the seat's gonna be over top of it. You're not even gonna know that it's broke. Plus the good thing about this part of the seat is that there's really not much weight on it because the weight of the seat is actually on metal bars. So this should be pretty good. And this way we didn't even have to buy a big $800 piece or put it all on. As for the bed, the bed's actually in pretty bad shape. I really didn't get to show you much of this because guys, we wasn't even thinking about the bed earlier. But we was looking at it and like the whole back lights busted out and like the whole side panels busted out. And so I ordered the parts. They keep getting pushed back like literally every week. They get pushed back another week, which is kind of dumb because I kind of need a Defender to go trap some stuff. But unfortunately, as for now, the Defender is currently still out of commission. And honestly, it's been, it's been over a month at this point and the Defender's just still out of the game. Okay, kind of need this thing. Me and Steve has some pretty epic adventures to go on. And right now, me and May, we're just having to load up in the back of my truck, which uh, can't really go many places. So, yeah, looks like I'm going to head in here, get the mule ready, because in the next video, it's looking like it's going to be me and the old trapping shack on wheels. But as for now, the Defender's still not ready. I'll keep you all updated if it ever gets ready. If not, looks like we're going hardcore with the trapping shack on wheels. Thanks for watching this vlog. All right, I'm leaving. Bye.